that company is a scam. It is an absolute scam. They will steal from you. They will... <laughs> they doctor Raycons. That's well known. Some place to get fuel if I thought I could. So I made it here. Told them to get me a load. And they won't turn on my fuel card until they get me a load. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. It was $35,000. $35,000 huh? $35, cash money? No, no, I gave one thirty, $35,000 plus one, right? The one I gave. No, you gave me six, though, right? That's it was true. one. I had one. It was six. And a $35,000 plus one plus six leaves seven. $35,000 and seven, right? Motherfucker, can you buy that? Here are a couple of more reasons to not mess with Super Eagle. In these first couple of clips right here, we have two drivers telling their experience with controversial company Super Eagle. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. What's up, TikTok? I'm just uh, out here. I wanted to bring you guys to some attention. You see this company here. You see them everywhere. You know who they are. Well, I'm purchasing this truck from them. And uh, I'm also purchasing the trailer. However, that truck, uh, there's my dog. She's uh, a victim too. Uh, that tra truck right there, it's got over 400,000 miles on it. So far, I've put 4,500 miles on it. Two weeks ago, the clutch went out in that truck. They sent me to the middle of nowhere out here in Oregon. I live in Florida. And uh, they have me under at the repair shop for two weeks. Well, when the, the truck finally ran out of fuel because it's getting hot as hell out here in the daytime and cold as hell at night, uh, I went ahead and told them that they needed to put me in a motel. Took a couple days of negotiating with them, but they did it. Two, three days, or about three, four days after uh, they put me in a motel, they decided that the motel is too expensive. It's a Super 8. They, they have, this company has over 8,000 trucks on the road. Don't tell me it's too expensive. Well, now I'm out of fuel. I sat here at the truck stop at Love's after getting my truck back yesterday. Ran out of fuel. Told them I needed fuel before I even left the repair shop. But they told me to try to make it to some place to get fuel if I thought I could. So I made it here. Told them to get me a load. And they won't turn on my fuel card until they get me a load. Mind you, I'm no operator. I pay for my fuel. They steal my fuel discounts. They steal my fuel surcharges. And they still won't give me fuel. So that me and my dog can have air conditioning and heat in the evening. I don't have any food in this truck because I haven't worked in two weeks. The truck's been down. I don't have any water in this truck. Luckily, they have non-potable water here for my dog to drink. But, I just want to bring this to you guys' attention. So, Super Ego Holding. Don't ever go to work for these people. I just tried to get them to send out roadside assistance to put some fuel in my truck. They refused to do it because I don't have a load. You guys, give me a comment back and let me know what you think about this whole situation. Y'all have a good one. All right, drivers, there you have it. What do you think? Are you still interested in driving for controversial company Super Eagle? Are you? After everything that these drivers been telling you about this company, are you still interested? I mean, there's... I, now, listen. Listen. I'm about to tell you. There has been a couple of drivers that has came through the channel and did say that they were actually winning with controversial company Super Eagle. Like they're actually making money and not having no problems with the company. But that's only a, a, a small few. Okay. Just a small few. And as I said before, this is, you know, this is all about their experience. You know, I'm just here just to listen for the good conversation that comes out of it. But again, I, I, I said before, I, I did put a shout out to drivers 
that if they are winning and making money with controversial company super ego they are more than welcome to come on to the show and express that but of course we have plenty of drivers that definitely had their experiences with controversial company super eagle and a lot of them haven't been good so this morning i had a uh, a guy contact me and asked me about super ego and you know he was like you know they really want me to come work for them you know what, what's the deal with this place and stuff like that and i've had a lot of people i've had a lot of people ask me this question and, you know, and he was like, well, people say this stuff about, you know, certain other carriers. And he mentioned a couple uh, places that I didn't have no experience with. That I really don't know anything about other than, you know, word of mouth and that's it. But I can tell you based on my own personal experience with Super Eagle Holding, that company is a scam. It is an absolute scam. They will steal from you. They will... <laughs> They doctor rate cons. That's well known. Okay, you get a thing that they give you a thing from the broker telling you that this is what it pays. They've got the original. They've changed it. They got they put it in their computer. They changed it, and then they give you a doctored copy for less than what they're getting. They will charge you for everything under the sun that they can charge you for. If you got, they take a percentage of everything. Their insurance is outrageous. They, if you get layover pay, like say, you know, you got detention for being somewhere too long, the broker agreed to pay you detention pay, they'll even take a percentage of that. Okay, so they take everything that they can possibly take. They milk their drivers, their, their owner operators for everything they can. I don't know what it's like there as a company driver, but I've heard horror stories about that from other people. It's not a good place to work at all. When I went there, I had my own truck. I didn't go there. I didn't do no lease purchase with them. I have my own truck, just like I have my own truck now. I can take this truck anywhere I want to. Okay? I can run under anybody's authority, or I could go get my own authority and use it. I can use this truck in any way that I see fit. I brought the truck I had at that time, which is the one I had before this one, to there. And they told me that I would get 90%. I thought, 90%? Oh, that's pretty good. But I had no idea how much they were going to rip me off. Like I've said in previous video, whenever I left there, I was supposed to receive a settlement for $5,000. That's what they owed me, okay? That was after all expenses, everything. They held that, refused to give it to me, then redoctored it, and put all the charges off onto a trailer that I had turned in that there was absolutely nothing wrong with, and stole that $5,000. And I've actually got both both statements. First one where I was supposed to get it, and second one where they redoctored it. It's a scam. Stay away. Stay far, far away. Do not go to Super Eagle Holding. That's all I can say. But I'm just curious to know. I mean, with everything that you know about this company, you know, are you still interested in giving controversial company Super Eagle a chance? Not not to say that you're not interested, but are you? I mean, working for a black ops company uh, for some drivers in some situations do work. They do work, right? Like, for example, if you're in the FMCSA's clearinghouse and you're in the SAP program, not that many companies is going to give you a chance. But there might be a few black op companies out here that will but just know when just know what you're signing up for just know what you're signing up for because a lot of these companies you know they 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 like to use drivers they like to abuse drivers they like to disrespect drivers but sometimes you gotta you 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 gotta swim through the sharks in order to find clear waters with these black ops companies now a lot of black ops companies like horror 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 for horror horror transportation for example 
they say that they are a good company to drive for give us a try and maybe we can satisfy your need and respect as a driver maybe you might want to give them a chance instead and they do by the way work with sap drivers but back to super eagle i mean they are in business their trucks are out there but i don't know i'm i'm, I'm hearing a lot of drivers over here talking about that you know the controversial company super eagle is kind of finagling with with different mc numbers allegedly allegedly don't let me put no false information out there this is just information that i'm seeing from these videos and there's a lot of videos so much so that i can't man i when these videos come to me i bring them out to you guys that's how i do it that's how i do it luckily for me i got tiktok <laughs> and that's where i'm being tagged at i'm being tagged in a lot of these videos and a lot of videos is being uh dm'd over to me and they like yo lock out check out this video check out that video and i'm here i'm here i'm i'm checking it out and i'm sharing it with you guys so again my question to you and first thing first what's your thoughts i mean i know a lot of you drivers have thoughts about controversial super eagle a lot of you drivers will not work for that company despite of uh i mean i mean despite of the good that you do hear from drivers about it if you have a problem if it's d i mean if it's your dac report that's messed up if you're in the sap program if if you have any situation that would hinder you from getting a legitimate trucking job then will you gig will you give controversial company super eagle a chance let me know in the comments below oh by the way if you guys want to come on and share your experience with any trucking company it doesn't matter it doesn't have it doesn't have to be controversial company super eagle it could be any trucking company that you're having experiences with by all means hit me up in the gmail which is lockout man podcast guest at gmail.com or you could text the show that's 216-600-2090 we would love to hear your story